Welcome to women's group eight in the wheelchair basketball. It's the final match for these two, Canada and Brazil. Canada two and one for the competition so far. They surprised Great Britain on day one. There's the table as it stands. Canada line third in the table. Argentina currently right down the bottom. Brazil need to win here to give themselves as good a draw in the quarterfinals as they can possibly get. And today they're up against the Canadians, the world champions. It's not going to be an easy one. Brazilian team, out they come, they're an exciting developing team, Perla number six, player number seven, Rosalia is the number eight, all three of them, exciting, Ana Aurelia, Jessica Santana played well against Great Britain, Brazil have a very important 24 hours, they played Great Britain in their last match, they lost fairly heavily in the end, they win here against Canada. They find themselves in third place in the group, which would mean they get an easier crossover. Paula and Vivi. Vivi Almeida has 14.7 points per game average. The team average 49.7 overall. And here come the Canadians. There's Tamara Steves, she originates from Motobacoke in Ontario, now lives in Mississauga. There goes the number seven, Cindy Goulet. One of the best players on the team, the number 13. Jamie Jules going through the shot, 14 is Erica Gable, four and a half point player from Saskatoon, and their points will be led. By the number five in shot there, Janet McLaughlin. The number 15 is Melanie Horton from Hamilton, Ontario. And their coach is Bill Johnson. We'll have the national anthems of both teams.
Canada and Brazil in the women's pool eight in the wheelchair basketball of the 2016 Paralympic Games. These two finishing off pool eight. Jamie Jules and Vieira just shaking hands. Just a couple of minutes to go now until the action starts. Tamara Steves, Janet McLaughlin, a huge player who is an incredible point scorer for her team. All-star five at the World Championships in 2014. Katie Harnock, the number 10, is a fantastic player herself. The 33-year-old Tracy Ferguson has oodles of quality. The veteran has a number of Paralympic medals in her bag as well. Three Paralympic golds and a bronze. Bill Johnson will be their coach alongside him. Broughton and there are the Brazilians well they've turned around and played again quite quickly Perla is a ball carrier for them look out for Ana Aurelia Rosa Jessica Santana holds the ball well for the Brazilians Liam Martin has an impact they're exciting coach Sam Pau will be looking for an improvement from the team that lost to Great Britain they got beaten 63-32, Great Britain falling away slightly in the fourth quarter. Canada opened up their account against Great Britain with a surprise 43-36 win. McLaughlin, Ulay, Harnock, Ferguson, Jules. Fairly standard starting five for the Canadians. Plenty of experience, plenty of Paralympic Games experience under their belts. Perla, Rosalia. And Aurelia Rosa, Jessica Santana, and Liam Artan. Well, again, a fairly standard lineup for the Brazilians. Perla will hold on to the ball. Martin will look to cause problems, and Sata Santana will be physical. Two and one. 43 36, they opened up. It was the poorest of quality games, that one. Canada got out of it with the win. But they didn't start the tournament in style. Argentina, they beat 73-28. And then they went on to get their only loss of the competition, 54-68 against Germany. That's how the Brazilians have fared. They won the opener against Argentina, lost heavily to Germany, and then heavily as well to Great Britain. A win here for Brazil would be a surprise. Stranger things have happened, though. Brazil underway in the green, Canada with the basketball Le will restart the number seven three and a half point player over the 2008 Paralympic Games McLaughlin suffered a number of injuries this year Janet McLaughlin, and time out of the game. Up and down it goes for Ferguson. She really is the standout veteran on this team. Six Paralympic Games to date. Paralyzed due to spinal cord surgery. Nine years of age, makes it 2-0 to start. Number nine is Rosa for the Brazilians. She inbounds the ball to Perla. Perla finds her way to the basket and doesn't sink the two, and McLaughlin steals in to grab hold of the ball. They're all rebounders at the 2012 Paralympic Games. Janet McLaughlin, her height really does make a difference. Ule off the glass and down for two, and Canada out to a four-point early lead. And Settling the nerves. Perla. That one goes for the Brazilians that time. Straight through the hoop from Perla. She's a two point player, born in Belém. And she gets two points for her team. Ulet spins, darts back towards halfway. Bounce pass to Harnock. 
who has been one of the form players or was going through the World Championship, fallen away slightly this year. Missed the Continental Clash in Worcester, Great Britain. The final tournament that the Canadians played, running into the Rio Paralympic Games. One-handed, won't go for Brazil on that occasion, as Jessica Santana was unable to put the ball away. The referees for this one, it's Li Jiaguan, two umpires, Linus Radikas and Karen Molina. Jamie Jules fighting for the ball with all she's got. Canada will inbound the ball. McLaughlin, Brazil putting on the high press. Ferguson races away for the ball. Dropped into Jules, the low point player up and nothing there that time for Jamie Jewell. The one point player plays for Variety Village, a Toronto based wheelchair basketball club. Perla. Forced out, 10 seconds on the shot clock, down to seven now. Up and out it goes, and nothing available for Brazil on that occasion. 6 2 the score now. Long pass to McLaughlin, up and in for her. McLaughlin, 14.3 points per game in the competition so far. She makes her first two of the game here, and it's 8-2 the score. The world champions, Canada, the somewhat surprised world champions from the 2014 event, the hosts. Great four in the lead, Brazil, the hosts here. And not lying down. Well played by the number nine, Rosa. She takes two points personal for the game. Parnock breaks down the left-hand side. Two on two. The Canadians and the Brazili Brazilians. Perla is dismissed by Harnock, and she puts the two away to stretch it back to six. Canada have started strongly. Katie Harnock working hard back in her defence. Each time the Canadians get a basket, Leah and Brazil bounce back once more. She turned 31 just last week, Leah, on the 6th of September. Ferguson. Twelve six now. Canada. Boulet with the basket and the Quebec native. Stuck by Perla in the Brazilian half of the court. Santana, Jessica Santana. He's for Murphy, Cabin, Via, Via, and Brazil are responding here. And Jessica enjoying herself. Two points personal. Goulet. Ferguson. Jamie Jewell goes for the basket. She should get two shots hit. Now it's called against. The number six, Perla Asen South. First foul of the game. Jewel will go to the line for two. Waits once more. 12 8 the score. Falls away in the basket. Goes nowhere. Result will have the ball. 24 seconds. A fresh shot clock. 5 20 left in the first. Brazil are not lying down here against the Canadians. 
They're well and truly outranked in the, the championships. The Canadians first in the world. We go off the 2014 Worlds in Toronto. Rosalia Ramos to Silva, one and a half point player. Which will affect her ability to right herself if she does fall over. One of the more severely impaired players on the court being held back up into her chair. Wheelchair due to Berlin Lara syndrome, a virus. Melanie Horton into the game for the Canadians. Horton, number 15, best from Hamilton, Ontario. McLaughlin spins and puts it away well. A four and a half point player, Janet McLaughlin, former able bodied player, played for the Victoria Vikes for five seasons in, the, in their basketball program. Looking with the defensive rebound makes it very difficult for the number seven, Sinuli. Her captains those two. That's a six-point lead for the team from Canada. As group eight comes towards a close. Three team fouls for Brazil. If they get to five within a quarter, it will send the opposition to the line for two. On a foul, Ferguson, well stolen by Jessica Santana. McLaughlin putting pressure on her. Brazil bring the ball away well, and then the ball just launched away carelessly by Leah Martin. Defensa, Defensa is the Brazilian call. Goulet wants the points. Harnock spins out. Right handed shot from her, consistent from Katie Harnock. She's a two point player, playing her in her third Paralympic Games, made her debut back in Beijing 2008. Brazil just. Unable to close the gap this time, and it's eight points the difference. And that remains a McLaughlin. Brutal on the defensive rebound. Here comes Ferguson. Over. It goes to Ule off the glass for two, and Canada making it count now. 18 points to eight the score. Timeout called with 3.10 left in the first, and at the moment, the Brazilians are struggling to control this Canadian threat of the likes of McLaughlin, Harnock and Ule. Green of Brazil in possession of the ball. It's Group 8 at the Rio Olympic Arena. The final match for Brazil and Canada in this group. Leah Martin secures two more points for the Brazilians and it's four points personal for her for the game. McLaughlin under pressure from Martin, gets the ball up to Katie Harnock. 
Harnock, who has won two World Championship golds in her time, 2006 and 2014. Amsterdam and Toronto, respectively. The number eight into the game and scoring the points is Rosalie Lalonde, a three-pointer, 19 years of age. Of course, each player will be graded across a classification system dependent on their impairment as Perla bags two for Brazil to make it 2012. The scale is from one point player, the most severely impaired. The highest level of impairment as Ule breaks in to the key for two more points. She's a three and a half point player, so she takes up three and a half points of the team's total that they're allowed on court. They can't exceed 14 as a team of five. 14 points as a team of five. So coaches have to think very clearly about their tactics and how they will run their lineups. Lachlan and Ule currently taking up eight of the 14. Londa three-pointer pushes them up to 11. This one courts Harnock. And Ferguson. It's Harnock and Horton currently. Horton just coming in. He's just a one-point player. There she is, Melanie Horton, doing the defending. Perla turns out over the three-point line. Lovely bounce pass. Finds the number nine, Rosa. Rosa uses Leah Martin. The shot clock ticking down, and Brazil run out of time with one. 25 left in the first. 22-12 for score. McLaughlin off to Ule. Ule takes it into the front court and then brings it back into the back court. Surely a back court violation there. And eventually it was seen. She bounced the ball in one half, bounced it back in the other. Ten points the difference. Canada have the lead, the world champions. Brazil looking for the best possible finish for them in Group 8. Which would mean a simpler quarter-final. The foul is drawn by Leah Martin. Two steals for the Brazilians. And three, Molina. Goes over to call the foul at the table. Down to the line. It was Lalonde's second personal foul, the team's third of the first quarter. Janet McLaughlin, a gentle giant. Very good rebounder of the ball. Tipped out there. Looked like it might have hurt. for Canada Rugby. Career cut short by a knee injury that led her into wheelchair basketball. And in for the first time comes Aaron Young. Young just 20 years of age, another four and a half point player. Here she is. Looks like McLaughlin's gone out the game. This will be a chance for Brazil. The Ule remains. Just 45.8 seconds left in the first. Harnock. Up and down it goes. Simule. Uh, 
Hurl it. The Amata. Nothing there on that occasion for Brazil. 24 12 the score. Harnock goes for the hook shot. Doesn't get it. The buzzer goes. And at the end of the first, Canada in a comprehensive lead hit. 24 12. Brazil have a lot to talk about in Group A. Canada currently easing their way through this one. It's 24 12 to the world champions. Brazilians have been industrious so far, but in front of the basket, they just haven't been able to live with the Canadians. 40% of field goals so far for Brazil. Canada, 86%. to Leah up off the glass down it comes and Aaron Young the youngster rebounding quickly finds Harnock Harnock with support pass towards Lalonde who finds Young and has to exit the key Young doesn't though and she puts the points away in Canada the perfect start to the second quarter Problem over on the far side for one of the Brazilians. And Aurelia Rosa will wait to inbound the ball for her team. She finds Perla. Perla who will carry the ball forward as she regularly does. Horton thinks about coming out to meet. Now Perla has stopped. Oh, the whistle has gone. And the player's down. It's clear. Helping her out of her chair. No sporting from Katie Harnick there. In comes the number 14 for Brazil, Paula Cloca. Also entering the game. Levy and Jessica Lalonde. Lalonde and Cindy Bullet. Lovely pass to Young. Doesn't go. Brazil can come away with the ball. Ignore the buzzer. Play will continue. 26 12 the score. Vivi. Up and down for two. This team really has improved over the last five years or so. A physical bunch. Improving their qualities here on home soil. Harnock. 
Young. Down it goes for Young for two. Aiden's now 28-14 in the lead. Aaron Young. He was a former able-bodied basketball player. Had to quit playing for maybe club due to knee injuries. Perler loses control. The London lick come away. Lick puts the shot up. She will get two free throws. Aaron Young all smiles. 28-14 the score. The number seven. Help the team to gold at the World Championships in 2014. Led Canada to the under-25s. World Championships in 2011, where they finished fourth, and she was named as a member of the All-Star Five. Twenty-nine, fourteen. Jessica Young tries to push her out she does so and she goes off court and that was very good defense in the end from Aaron Young Lalonde Harnock stopped in a track spike the number five Andrea Faleas Sindule Faleas once more pressurizing and Harnock's gonna run out of time here she puts it up it hits the rim and play continues well I thought she missed that but the referees disagree when I say missed it I mean missed the buzzer she definitely missed the basket, Aaron Young makes it count. 6.50 left in the half and it's currently 31-14. Canada leading comfortably at the moment. Vivi. Vivi currently 14.7 points per game. Kloppler in front of her, trying to set the screen. She'll get the ball, Kloppler, and the Shot clock definitely running out that time. Peter goes. Timeout called by the Brazilians. And the score, Canada 31, Brazil 14. Coach Champagne. Needs to come up with something to get his team back into this. They need a run of baskets, they need a run of ball. Just a little bit too sloppy to threaten this Canadian team. Four points apiece for Perla and for Leah. Leah currently off the court. Difference, the Canadians led 11 points of the game. Young, Harnock, both six points of the game and we've got him four. The change after the timeout, McLaughlin and Steves. Enter for Harnock and Young. For the Canadians, Lalonde. Real bright spark for this Canadian team. Finds McLaughlin. She's been there and done it at the top of the game. Here is Lalonde. It drops for two and 33 now is the Canadian score. Still a long way to go in this second. And at the moment, the Brazilians really are losing contact with this Canadian team. 
Canada only scored 43 in their opening match. Still managed to win, though. And we've nearly far from beating that score already. Steves. Will it? Horton trying to set the pick on. Glockler, Roulette into the paint, gets the rebound, finds McLaughlin. She can't score either. LeBlond gets the rebound. Canada currently having shooting practice. And eventually Lalonde has had enough and sinks the two. The first ever Paralympic Games. I don't think it will be her last. Here's Vivi. Lovely pass from Vivi, but again, the Brazilians just can't put the points away. They opened up with 12 points in the first quarter. So far, in the second, just two. 15 rebounds to seven. Tamara Steves, a calm head. She was in that 2011 under 25 World Championship team. Here comes Jessica Santana. She can put the ball in the basket. And it's 13-4 for the quarter now, 37-16 overall. Lalon can't find a way around. Faneas eventually does. Goulet. McLaughlin. Great outside shooting on the edge of the key from McLaughlin. 39-16. Defensive foul called. Against the Brazilians. It went against Vivi, her first foul of the game. The team's third foul of the quarter. Johnson paces behind Michael Broughton's chair. And that comes forward. Huge pass to McLaughlin. McLaughlin puts the ball away. And Canada currently easing their way through this match. 41-16 the score. Oh, well played, but the foul on the play, nothing will count. Like it's going to go against the number eight. Vivi comes across after a fantastic passage of play to inbound the ball. That is number nine for Canada. Amanda Yan into the game. Was the long with the foul. Third match. In comes Yan. In comes Ferguson. Out goes Horton. And McLaughlin. Brazil and Perla limited to pot shots. 41 16. 3 18 left in the half. Jan loses the ball, but Lalonde comes across and then, as I thought she had won it, she lost it once more. Vivi can break. Glockler up in support with Farias. Lovely play from the Brazilians. That's the best basket I've seen them put away in this whole Paralympic Games. Glockler was the one that finished it, but it was a team basket. And it's 41-18 now, the Canadians leading. Brazil need many more of those. Lalonde. Up and down for Team Canada. Sinulet. 19-6 now in this quarter. Canada leading. They won the first 24-12. Vivi's back into an upright position. Defensive foul called. Vivi took a tumble. Steves goes over. 2012 Paris Sport Ontario Female Athlete of the Year. Oh, beautiful pass. And no mistaking from Rosalie Lalonde. 45 up now for Canada. Eight points for Lalonde. 
This is it. Domination at the moment by the Canadians. Steves, of course, Pool 8, quite complex. Canada beat Britain, Britain beat Germany, Germany beat Canada. Boulette, up it goes, down it goes. All three teams have beaten Argentina and should, if Canada complete this, beat Brazil. But let's not count our chickens yet. Vivi gets the two-pointer and she'll go for the line for the extra shot. She's out to four points to the game now. Harnock returns. Studied English at the University of Alabama. Graduated in 2013. Vivi to make it 21 for Brazil. She can't do so. Hola. Oh, Vivi well in, but falls on the shot and it falls just short against the rim. Jan. Roulette. Up and out it comes. Harnock misses Steves, who has to race back and keep the ball in the Canadian half so that they don't get penalised. Roulette finds Ferguson. Oh, the steal from Jessica. Here comes Paula Klaukler. Roulette, oh, that was... Brutal defending. Jessica. Vivi. Perla has the shot from the right hand side and can't sink it. Steves with the defensive rebound. Here comes Ulet once more. Off the glass. Easy enough for two. And Cindy Ulet. The co-captain, 15 points per game average so far. She's out to 17 already in this one. And Canada are threatening 50 points before half-time. Vivi, though, makes it 22 to Brazil. Stops the clock with 14.8 seconds to go in the second quarter. Arna Canulet. Not helping Jessica back up into her chair. They want to pin her in the back court and... Perla goes over to help out. Vivi now also trying to control matters. Oh, that's poor defence though by Falias, letting Steves get away when the Brazilians were doing such a good job. Jan up and doesn't go down. Jessica has the ball for Brazil. We're coming to the dying moments of the first half. The second quarter is about to end. The shot goes up, it will fall short. That is a confident performance from the Canadians. They've closed out the Brazilians in these first two quarters. And the score at the half, Canada 49, Brazil 22. the breakdown for the two quarters very similar 24 12 25 10 Brazil have been outclassed so far by this team from Canada who are hitting 75 percent of their field goals that really is fantastic from the Canadians it's Rio 2016 it's the Paralympic Games here are the statistics 49 22 look at that just 37 percent of field goals for Brazil Free throws, just one from four for the Canadians, none from five for Brazil. They've stolen the ball five times, turnovers six to nine, points from turnovers 13 for Canada, just the two for Brazil. We'll have plenty more action in the second half. It's Canada 49, Brazil 22.
Well, welcome back to the action. Here at the Rio Olympic Arena, Brazil. This is Canada. Plenty more action to come in the second half. There's the score so far, 49-22. Play Group 8 at the Wheelchair Basketball for Women's in the 2016 Rio Paralympic Games about to come to a close. It looks like there'll be a tie across the top three spots. Canada can close this one out to Great Britain and Germany on seven apiece. Looks like they've finished third though. Germany, Great Britain, Canada and Brazil will go through to the quarterfinals. Brazilians are in here supporting their team. They should get to support their team in a quarter-final as well. Glocklin for Canada. We're back underway. Ouled up for two. 51-22, great start. From Quebec City to this second half. Alias and Santana. Ball didn't go. Ferguson. McLaughlin over to Ouled. out there doing the defending McLaughlin in the paint and she sinks the 2 53 22 <laughs> Jessica Santana into the paint once more stopped my by McLaughlin but put the basket away well it was good play by Jessica Santana. She was under a lot of pressure. She had a big player in front of her. She sunk her third basket of the day to make it 53-24 now. Katie Harnock. Harnock spins, finds McLaughlin. McLaughlin to Ferguson. Jewell. I think on that visit to the basket for Jamie Jewell. The number 13 who has played semi-professionally in Germany for the Trier Dolphins. Here's Vivi. Lovely pass to Klochler. Those two really play well together. Sadly Paolo Klochler couldn't put the ball in the basket on that occasion but they've linked up very nicely. Here comes Harnock. Bounce pass, Ulet off the glass, nothing. And again, the Brazilians hasty in their shot, and it stays 53 24. Santana now three from nine of her field goals. McLaughlin drops the ball into Harnock. Harnock inside the key a long time. It clips Jamie Jewell and out of play it goes. Santana. Harnock, who's on the wrong team. Harnock comes away. He's on the all-star team of the Women's National Championships in Canada back in 2011, Katie Harnock. McLaughlin comes in and fouls Vivi. And McLaughlin, just a bit... There. Studied at the universities of Alberta and Alabama. Up and down from Paola, but no basket that time. 
who let under the basket and it doesn't go for her she gets her own rebound and then misses she will get shots as the whistle goes 53 24 the score Turns to action. Medalist from 2014 to another gold medalist from the 2014 World Championships. Roulette at the line. Misses with the second, gets the first. 54-24. And that's to Vivi. Perler setting the screen. Vivi needs to go out the key there, otherwise she'll be in trouble. He flips the rim. Vivi, the whistle goes. Yeah, down for Brazil. Jessica Santana back into the upright position. The number 10, two and a half point player. Made her international debut against Germany at the 2010 World Championships. Roulette, the defence that time from Brazil. Jewel has to work her way out of the key. She was in there a long time. McLaughlin sneaks into the key and gets the two. And it was turned over. Three-second violation it was called against McLaughlin. I think it was actually Jewel. Referee decided to penalise. Oh, falling away, Vivi. The shot doesn't go. The whistle does to allow her back upright. It's a brave player, Vivi. Fun to watch. Be back at the Beijing Paralympic Games in 2008. Of course, these two teams will move forward into the quarterfinals where the best of Group B will await them, the likes of the Netherlands, USA, China, and the French. Final group placings will be confirmed. Perla. Roulette. McLaughlin off the glass and down for two. Valias. Finds Perla. Perla up and down. Canadians, British and the Germans beating each other in this group it means that the breakdown of the top three goes on points difference between those top three. They don't take into account the points difference against Brazil and against Argentina. It would only be between the tied teams. Vivi unsuccessful on that occasion. Offensive foul called. 58-26, and that would mean, of course, Vieira re-enters the fray for the Brazilians today. I mean, Germany would sit top of the pile. The points difference by my calculations of plus nine. Great Britain would have scored 86 and conceded 88, and lost by seven to Canada but beaten Germany by five so they'd have minus two and the Canadians minus seven they'd have scored 97 and conceded 104 so they would take third position group B not yet finished neither's group A the result here will not affect where Canada or Brazil finish in the group they'll be third and fourth going into the quarterfinals. Vieira tries to seal for Brazil. 60-28 the score now. Valias. Oh, yeah. 
Madison. Roulette. Roulette, a very stern player. Doesn't give much away. Jessica finds Vivi. Vivi has space to push into eventually. Roulette and Dada sails. Came across. The whistle's gone and the points will count. Vieira with the basket. She'll have the extra. Vieira for the extra point. She doesn't get that. The rebound she might get though. Yes, she does. Perla, what a tournament she's had. Really impressive player, Perla. And a team that have struggled at times against three of the top five teams in the world. Perla's stood out. Roulette. Dada sails on the Olympic gold and silver medalist in swimming and, of course, at High regard, world record holder as well. Now looking for a Paralympic medal here at Rio 2016. Canada 60, Brazil 30. It's the last match of Group A in the women's section of the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Aaron Young, the 20-year-old, falls short on that occasion. There is Sales. Finds Young, lovely pass between the two of them, and Young makes no error at all. Former horse rider. 62-30. Just over two and a half left in the third period. There's Brazil. Lost 63 32 to Great Britain. Similar scoreline at the moment, but a long way to go in this one. Sales moves the ball on to Jamie Jules. Jules into Young, off the glass, and down for two. Aaron Young once more. It's a debut in 2014 for this Canadian outfit. Won gold in the World Championships in the very same year. Santana, Perla. Perla through the paint and down for two. Well played. The two-point player on bronze at the Parapanam Games in 2015. It's been a highlight for Brazil here. Roulette. Horton. Up and away, of course, Brazil. Will go into the quarterfinals where they'll face the team who are yet to lose a game here. In group A, each team has lost at least one. In group B, the USA have gone unbeaten. Brazil have the hardest of tasks. Here's Ouellette. Young. And it goes 66 34. Vivi. Eventually it falls for Jessica and then for Melanie Horton and she can get the ball into the safe hands of Ouellette. Ouellette eventually over the halfway line where Aaron Young was waiting. Dada sails up with her. McLaughlin being given a breather by Canada and Young playing very well indeed currently and puts another two away for the Canadians. They're out to a 19-12 lead in the third. And Young now 16 points personal for the game. She's hit eight of 10. 80% of her field goals have been successful. 68-34. At the end of the third, Canada have the most comfortable of leads. 
With just 10 minutes of basketball left in the women's group A here at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Can't see Brazil coming back from here. They've lost every quarter convincingly. They will still make the quarterfinals, Brazil, but they will not, or they're unlikely to go into that quarterfinals with another victory. There are the stats, 70% of field goals going for the Canadians. Brazil just 35, 27 defensive rebounds from Canada and they've scored 13 points from turnovers. They've made it count. The last 10 minutes coming up in just a few moments time. Brazil start their last quarter of wheelchair basketball in the group stages of their home Paralympic Games. Vivi collects a poor pass from the Canadians. The whistle goes on the plate. Erica Gavel of Saskatoon comes in. Comes down for McLaughlin, who's returned to action. Young, this way and that. Looks to attack the key, then decides against and just takes her time. She's got plenty, but then just rolls out of play and a mistake from the youngster. Edmonton Inferno to the Canadian Women's Championship in 2013. Aaron Young, she's helping Canada here to a good points total and a good personal total. Here's Gable. McLaughlin. Janet McLaughlin was such a powerhouse at the London 2012 Games. She's been a little more quiet recently. Suffered injuries this year. The first from the free throw line falls. She goes two from two. 70-34 the score now. Leah Martin returns. She returns with the hardest of jobs to turn around. Rosalia Ramos da Silva, the number eight. Pass towards Vivi is stolen from Perla. And here goes Rosalie Lalonde off the glass for two. on the plate. Vivi 
awaits the ball from the referee. Says her career playing highlight was the 2012 Paralympic Games, but also qualifying to go to the Parapanam Games in 2011, being selected for the Brazilian squad. I'm sure the Rio 2016 Games will be a new highlight for her, for all these Brazilian players in front of these fantastically noisy crowds who are so partisan. They love to see their team. They've cheered them all the way both in the men's and the women's competitions at the wheelchair basketball and across all sports. A foul called on the plate. And it was against Canadian Lalonde, her, third, her fourth foul of the match so far. Brings Jan back to the action and Lalonde heads out. 8.28 left in the game. Canada just closing this one out now. Vivi, the Brazilians improving all the time. But it really is testament to how fast the world game moves on. The likes of Great Britain and Canada. Beating Brazil by so much. Young back into the action and picks up another two. 74-34. Eighteen points personal. Gavel with the assist. Seventy-three percent from Canada. Perla. Phoebe. Nothing there on that occasion. But Rosalia Ramos de Silva. Nearly gets the steal. Jan instead launches the ball and Leah just jumps in ahead of Aaron Young. The foul on the play is going to go against Jan. Leah was the player who was fouled. So Jamie Jules put her hand up and took the foul. I thought I was certain it was Jan that would be penalised. And it's her second foul for Jules. Phoebe misses. Young will aim not to do the same down the other end. In she goes and completes the score. 76 34, six and a half left, and Young gets tipped out of her chair. The whistle goes, Young eventually. Back up into her chat. Much to the amusement of Tamara Steves on the Canadian bench. Brazil get going again. Eventually Young back into the action. Vivi. Back to Vivi once more. And taken in the end. It's hard on the rim and will go out of play. Canada will inbound. 76 34 the score. Canada have controlled matters here at the Rio Olympic Arena today. Jan, Jules, misses everything, Jamie Jules that time. Played at London 2012 Paralympics, the team. To then win gold at the 2014 World Championships. At the moment, they're heading towards a comprehensive win here and third place in Group 8. Leah up off the glass and Brazil. Work 
working so hard to get back in. And it's a big old difference, 40 points. Gable, Young, Baskin, simple as that. Peavy doesn't make a mistake when under no pressure at all. There was no one near her. And the all-star Rodas player who joined that club at 15 years of age. It's proving herself to be a useful player for the national team of Brazil. Young, lovely pass, but Jan couldn't hold it. Potentially Young dropping it a little bit low. Steve's Ferguson. Sales going to return. Jan heads out. 28-year-old from Richmond in British Columbia. Gets the congratulations of Michael Broughton as she heads off to the bench. Leah. Brilliantly bright and dis distinguishable chair. Vivi. She has an illuminating style about her game. Leah backing away, went for the shot because the shot clock was ticking down but was in no position at all and Bill Johnson will be content with how his team have closed this game out. Jules. Ferguson. Well played by the Canadians and it's Sales with the basket. Donata Sales. Moved on from swimming in 2009. Decided wheelchair basketball was the sport she wanted to focus on from there. And it's paid off here in Rio. Leah goes through. 80-40. The score now, and Leah will have the extra shot as well. Eight points for the game now for Leah. And Leah makes no mistake to bring it to within 39. Ferguson was in that world dominating team that Canada possessed for such a long time gold in 92 96 2000 they ran they really were such an amazing outfit bronze in 2004 Amy Jules, one pointer. Looks like it's been a tough encounter for Jules. She goes questioning something to her bench. Walton comes in as a replacement. Ferguson. Gable. Got ticking down, she puts up the shot, she keeps her form well on it, but it doesn't go. 3.30 left in the game, Brazil well and truly behind the Canadians here, but they won't give up. Leah, great pass, Farias spins out. Vivi, looks to get the mismatch against Horting, goes for the shot and sinks it, and that is impressive shooting from Vivi. She was under pressure against the clock. She goes to 10 points for the game, seven rebounds, four assists. And a strong game from the number 15. Gavel. Away comes Leah once more. Vivi looking to make room past Sales. Perla has to 
sneak in and grab the ball to keep it alive for the Brazilians. Nearly two and a half to go in the game. 80-43, Vivi once more. Oh, great shooting, and Vivi is on fire. Nothing on that occasion for Tamara Steves. Well, that would have been an unusual basket from Farias. She's one of the point players on this Brazilian side. One point player to use all their stomach muscles to really get the ball up there, and it didn't quite go. Ferguson Steves. And she puts the ball away, the Brampton Cruiser. 82-45. This one done and dusted as regards the result. That won't stop the Brazilians from playing for pride in front of their home fans. Vivi. What a game she's had. Into Farias. That time it goes, well played. The school children being inspired by the Paralympic Games. Evie got the assist. Valias, her first two points of the game. And very nearly picked up her second basket as well. Here's Perla. Support from the number eight Ramos. Vivi. Leah. One-handed, doesn't go that time. Steve, still the Brazilians fight. Still, they don't let the Canadians out without a battle. Into the last minute, sails onto Ferguson. The most experienced player on court. Most experienced player, almost certainly in the whole competition with regards to the women's section. Valley asks for two more and she makes it. And the Brazilian bench go wild, the fans go wild. Valias is up to four points for the game. Two from six, 37% now from their two pointers for the Brazilians. And we're into the last 20 seconds of the match. Canada have been very, very professional today. Offensive foul called. It was against Dada Sales. She has to back into defence, although the Canadians are pressing the Brazilians. Sales, who played just eight minutes for the World Championships in 2014. Minutes for a gold medal. Not bad work. The Brazilians. Well, they're congratulating each other. They see that they've scored nearly 50 points against Canada and trust me that is no mean feat that's a good performance from this team bearing in mind they had only 34 points going into the final quarter Almeida or Vivi 12 points young 22 what a performance from the Canadian youngster apparently Brazil actually outscoring the Canadians in this quarter 15-14 take this performance into the quarterfinals where they will go up against the might of the USA and face the US team who continued that run of three Canadian golds by winning two of their own Canada won the gold in the 92, 96 and 2000 games, USA 2004 and 2008. One only broken by the Germans back in 2012. Leah, as the clock fades away in this one, she'll go for the long effort. She doesn't make it. Brazil have been impressive. They just miss out on 50, but the Canadians were professional throughout. Canada closed this one out as a contest early on. Their fans can be pleased with how they've played. They finished on seven points in the tournament. Canada 
going into the quarter-finals. Brazil will end up on five points as they will pick up the one point for the loss here today. And there's confirmation of the score in women's group A. Canada 82, Brazil 49.